Technology Lab, we conduct research into how computational techniques can be used to enhance users' engagement with learning and knowledge creation processes. We do interdisciplinary research which um, essentially looks at both social science, computer science and other disciplines and sees how we can work together. We work with educationalists and psychologists to understand how people learn and how we can design software to enhance students' learning and also tools for teachers to support them in their multiple roles. Fractions Lab is an exploratory learning environment for children between 8 and 10 years and it includes intelligent feedback and support that is able to ad be adaptive based on the student's affective states. Please explain what you are going to do next. You might find it helpful to write the task again. The system I'm working with is called the Fractions Lab and my part of the research project was to provide a visualization layer that would help people understand the data at a more holistic level. I'm trying to shift uh, teaching of computer programming from uh, human tutors to intelligent agents. Our research on a recommender system for the learning designer aims uh, to design an intelligent system that will help teachers uh, rebuild, test and improve their learning designs in order to help their students uh, improve their learning to reach their maximum potential. We have developed a virtual learning environment based on Moodle. The Libreville extends Moodle with a new personalization plugin that aims to personalize, personalize learners' experience in numeracy, literacy, problem solving and IT literacy. One example of tools that we have designed for teachers are awareness tools that help maths teachers to monitor their students' progress through learning tasks that target algebra. The tools help the teacher see who is making good progress with the task goals and who is in need of the teacher's help. So at the Berwick Knowledge Lab, uh, we get inspiration from uh, recent breakthroughs in uh, genetics, uh, psychological sciences and neuroscience uh, to create uh, new models, computational models and systems that possess human-like uh, characteristics and uh, are able to operate in uh, changing environments. For example, recently we have uh, a, co a collaboration with uh, neuroscientists and development psychologists uh, researching uh, the ways children learn new things and develop their cognitive abilities early in life. And from this research, uh, we designed a new generation of machine learning algorithms that would be able uh, to operate uh, in changing uh, contexts, uh, able to transfer knowledge from one context to the other. Uh, and uh, these methods would be able to make uh, systems more intelligent uh, and adapt to changing environments. One of the drawbacks of most machine learning methods is that every time the neural networks they encounter a new problem, you have to train them and like the entire cycle has to be repeated from scratch. And what it often leads to is that when they learn a new task, they forget, it overrides the previous knowledge. So they forget or the performance declines on the previous task. So I devised a method which kind of enables them to acquire multiple tasks without catastrophically interfering with previously held knowledge. We are trying to create, automate the process of uh, detection uh, of autism uh, spectrum disorders based on EEG uh, signals. Uh, the aim is to detect ASD at a very early stage in life, uh, around uh, 12 months old infants. And we are trying by developing these new methods uh, to be able to direct uh, interventions uh, to groups of children uh, that most in need and uh, make an early prognosis of the development of ASD. We seek to understand how individuals and communities can be empowered by digital technologies, how they represent and co-create knowledge, and how digital technologies can be used to help them enhance their practice. We are working on the Cloud UBDRS app that assesses 
uh, the Parkinson's disease symptoms and the aim of the project is to be able to accurately and frequently assess uh, disease progression so that we can adapt medication to the particular needs of a specific patient. We aim to increase student engagement and communication between students and teachers. Um, we do this with the app that we've developed, um, which is based off of Moodle. And it pulls information off of Moodle and gives it to students in an app that is user-friendly and easy to use and can be used from anywhere. We've also developed interactive activities that students can use such as polls and group chats, and this can be used inside and outside of the classroom, both by teachers and students. And I'm researching into building ambulance simulators that can accurately simulate movement of ambulances around London so that we can build new uh, novel dispatch algorithms. We are hoping to achieve uh, development of dispatch models that could be used to not only improve arrival times to patients but also to improve uh, a more holistic approach um, to crew welfare and uh, to the overall ambulance performance. We work with the main experts in designing specialist knowledge bases that allow the integration of diverse data sets and accessing of the data through ontologies. Ontologies enable searching and browsing of the data according to the domain expert's own conceptual model of the domain. We can also use the formal properties of ontologies to support more flexible querying for users and also to validate complex conceptual models for consistency. Mapping Museums uh, project aims to chart the development of independent museums from the 1960s and onward and the determining factors in their emergence, development and character. I've been part of the uh, Weaving Communities of Practice project. Uh, the project utilises uh, an ontological approach uh, for developing a knowledge base of Andean weaving textiles. These traditions are fast being eroded and there's a real danger that the, some of this knowledge is going to be lost in the very near future. By using an ontological approach, uh, as the knowledge evolves and, and our understanding of how the weaving, uh, weaving artefacts are structured, uh, we were able to change our ontology on the fly and uh, without having to completely rewrite our applications. I'm working on flexible querying over the semantic web and we help the user to formulate queries over complex data structures. We're building digital tools um, to allow historians and researchers to make um, use of digital archives which are currently being produced by some of the world's largest institutions. We are the Burping College Club.